A lot of y'all know I do this way to fit into the hoop. And I always get this question about health risks. So I'm like, let me do some research. Because I've seen people say it can cause internal organ damage. And I'm always one to look into a theory. So let's look together. If you Google smart hula hoop internal organ, the first response is from this website. It says, in conclusion, using a smart hula hoop won't damage your kidneys or internal organs. It's true for both adults and children who hula hoop. Follow some of these steps below to ensure your safety. Then I scroll down to health.com and it says, are they effective and safe? It says, assuming the hula hoop is a safe weight of under two pounds, the risk of internal injury seems exceptionally low. And this came from Lewis Nelson, MD. Then I also went to go search smart hula hoop health risk. It says muscle injury, hula hooping is a repetitive exercise. Skin irritation, depending on the material of the hula hoop. If you use it without clothing over your torso, you may experience skin irritation. Bruising and injuries, back and hip discomfort. Then I went over to the National Institutions of Health. It just kind of compares weighted hula hoop to walking. But it does say hula hooping with the weight can cause a decrease in ab abdominal fat percentage. Now I'm going down a rabbit hole. They recruited 55 overweight non-diabetic subjects. In the end, the 53 subjects, fat percentage in the android area decreased significantly. By hula hooping, but not by walking. Okay, that's cute and all, but it don't say nothing about risk, so we're going to go back. Now, medical news today. This is the same article from earlier that gave these risks and considerations. It also gave safety, wearing appropriate clothing, hooping in a substantial space, stopping immediately if there's any discomfort. Now, this is health.com. Went over it briefly earlier today with Lewis Nelson. It essentially says, are they safe? It depends on fitness level. Again, it just talks about it being under two pounds. Most injuries reported involve the abs or lower back muscles and are related to the movements performed during exercise, not as much due to the weight. But doctor pointed out greater weights, however, may require more forcible movements, which may result in injury. Those forcible movements could injure the tissues around specific internal organs like your kidney. In most cases, it's more likely that you'll get bruising to your skin and body fat from the friction and weight of the hoop. Dr. Dark added that if you're in pain or become injured, you may want to take some time off that hoop. So in conclusion, I hope that gives you a little more insight on the possible risks that come with hula hooping and honestly, some of the benefits. I was only trying to show you health risks, but I might as well tell you the other benefits that they said too. Balance stability, strengthening the core, burning abdominal fat, and reducing bad cholesterol. And I only want to look at reputable websites. So yeah, I hope that helps. <laughs> also, I'm gonna do this here. I swear, just not today.